Do you ever get that overwhelming feeling where you feel like everything is moving way too fast and it needs to slow down a little? It's really natural these days, isn't it? Because in the world that we're living in right now, it has its eyes only on the fast forward button. We have come to believe that faster is somehow better or probably more efficient. We race against the clock, fitting more and more tasks in lesser time. We find ourselves running from place to place and in this process, we don't realize the effect it has on our lives. We stop doing simple things like just sitting down with our friends or talking to our family. Well, why? Because we don't have the time. We don't have the time to do these simple things and we certainly don't have the time to think about why we stop doing them or what effect it's going to have on our lives. This race against time takes its toll on all aspects of our lives. Our health, our relationships, the environment. We end up living in our own bubble of a fast life or we end up shutting out the outside world to some extent. We end up hurrying our lives instead of actually living them. When we come to think of it, the world right now thinks of slow as a bad thing, dense or obtuse. Whereas slow is exactly what we need right now. Because of this fast culture, there will come a stage where our body just can't take it anymore or where our relationships are ending because we don't have the time or the patience to listen to the other person. We end up losing contact with ourselves. To quote, when she stopped rushing through life, she was amazed at how much more life she had time for. Slowing down means taking the time to enjoy whatever you're doing, to appreciate your surroundings, and to actually focus on whoever you're spending time with, instead of only thinking about how much work you have left or the tasks that you still have to complete. It means single tasking or doing one thing at a time and doing it peacefully and up to your satisfaction instead of doing a whole lot of things at once. Slowing down is a choice. It's not always an easy one to make, but we learn to gradually appreciate all that is around us. So here's how to do it. One, monotasking. It's controversial, but it's true that doing one thing at a time or working with a few time gaps is actually way more productive than doing a whole lot of things at once. We learn to focus on what we're doing at the moment and we learn to let things happen and not to force them. The second is being present. It's really important to slow down and it's also very crucial to be present in the moment. Be present, focus on what you're doing right now instead of thinking about how many emails you have left. The third is finding pleasure in anything. This is somewhat related to being present, but just a step further. Be present. Find joy in every aspect of your work. Appreciate all that is around you. Choose to look at only the good parts of the situation. Now that's a lot coming from a pessimist, I know, but it helps a lot. This might sound really easy, but it's actually not. We find ourselves wanting to hurry things up when we have to slow down and remind ourselves that we decided to take it slow. In the words of Mahatma Gandhi, there is more to life than just increasing its speed. On a really personal note, in the recent times I found myself running from one place to another, classes before school, even more classes after, and I wasn't able to do anything up to my satisfaction. To conclude, I'd just say that the world needs to realize the importance of slowing down. We need to slow down before we get accustomed to this roadrunner life and we can't enjoy anything anymore. We underestimate the importance of just doing simple things like talking to our friends or doing something we like, painting or drawing or just a hobby or just simply doing nothing. I'd just like to say, that there's so much more of life left to see and experience, rushing it won't help. Just remember to take it slow. Thank you.